Well, God bless you. This is Apostle coming at you. We know that you're still being blessed by what the revelation that God gave us in December and continued this year of 2022. And that is from his house to your house. Well, these summit teachings have continued to be a blessing and there will be more. So get ready and stay tuned to be blessed by tonight's summit teaching. On the stage by Apostle Deborah Taylor, getting ready to release the revelation of investments in this now season. Apostle Deborah Taylor, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Fantastic. It is absolutely your stage. You take the stage. Talk to you later. All right. All right. Well, thank everyone for coming. We have had a phenomenal first session. And I just want to introduce myself as well as uh, have them to get ready for the PowerPoint to come up. But I've been a part of Valley Kingdom Ministries through um, the vision of H. Daniel Wilson. And for over 21 years, I've been I have b believed in the principle that he has taught to on the value investment. And there's a transfer of wealth that is taking place in the earth. It has been going on for a while. I just believe that certain people are catching up with it. Um, as we begin to talk about this today, I'm going to talk about it from the seven mountains uh, ministry principle. I believe that we should be aspired to lead with godly values and godly vision to ensure that our decisions are made as we move from his house to your house. And preparing for our next. I believe that we should aspire to lead and that we um, that there are spiritual values that will ensure that as we begin to make our decisions on investments, that there will be due diligence in due season through Ephesians 4 gifts and through 1 Corinthians 12 gifts. Again, my name is Apostle De uh, Deborah Taylor. I'm a set apostle in the marketplace. Um, I was unemployed after 41 years of working with the government. The, um, I was a biovocational pastor. Um, and I took four years ago, I took a $300 investment and turned it into over $100,000. Um, and I have two paid vehicles. I'm debt free because of the principles that were taught to me 20 years ago um, and through my spiritual papa, H. Uh, Daniel Wilson. Um, money is often frequently mentioned in the Bible over 800 times. But I really believe that we as Christians, we as saints have to understand the value of that. I really want to talk to you about Holy Spirit wants us to walk in financial freedom. You can't be a blessing to the kingdom if you're not financially free and you can't build the kingdom if you're not financially free. So I'm going to ask them to put up my PowerPoint because I'm ready. All right. So again, we're going to talk about the seven mountains um, as being wealth streams to bless every part of our life. And I'm going to use my life as an example. So in this slide, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, it says what has been will be again. There's um, what has been done will be done again. And there's nothing new under the sun. I believe that we are in a dispensation of time that wealth transfer is happening and it, it begun to happen in uh over 20 years ago when when apostle began to get revelation on these seven mountains through the seven mountains you have art um uh arts and entertainment family business education media uh government and religion today we're going to talk about kingdom marketplace and ambassadors and investors we want to make sure that you understand that there is a tremendous amount of wisdom of how to grow your monetary investments um and then one of the scriptures would be matthew 25 and 29 so you can write that down but it says to those who use to who, who use what is well and what they are given even more so will be given unto them and those and they will have abundance i believe that we are in a dispensation of time where the lord will give us abundant he has said that he would give us abundant life but if you don't invest anything in yourself right i have a ministry called now hiring yourself invest in yourself um 
you will never reap anything, right? It's the law of reaping and sowing. So Matthew 13 and 2, John 15 and 2, Luke 8 and 18, Mark 24 and 25, Matthew 25 and 28, Matthew 21 and 41. Those are some of the scriptures. I'm not going to read them, but you can write them down. So as you begin to move as kingdom and amb ambassadors, you're going to learn that we become marketplace inv marketplace investors taking care of the father's business. And I believe that the Lord wants us to take care of his business. One of the things that Apostle Wilson gives us is the apostolic go. And one of the things it says, go, therefore, making disciples. Right. And, and, and we can make disciples in multiple ways. And I believe that the principles in which I've been taught teaches me how to create, te teaches me how to create um, not only church disciples, but monetary wealth disciples. Um, also, so you're going to the nations. And one of the things that he teaches in his seven mounts of principles is ethnic which has to do with investing in God's people. But the next thing you want to do is you want to invest globally and you want to invest in the world. And if you're going to invest in the world, you got to go, right? And so we get the apostolic goal. I took, um, I took that literally. I took that literally. And so as I was traveling, ministering, doing things, I invested in an $8 trillion industry by the direction of the Holy Spirit four years ago. And I was actually 60 years old. And I took that investment and I listened to Holy Spirit and it has transcended and turned into a, over $100,000 investment. So as you get the apostolic go to the release, you want to become an ambassador to the nations. You want to become a kingdom investor and an owner. This will not happen by a stroke of luck, beloved. It will only happen with the Lord's gifts and talents. And it becomes timeless. Biblical investing will help you to grow wealth. And wealth is not only money. Wealth has to do with your life values and your life streams. I'm um, in Luke 16. Uh, 10 through 11, it says, be faithful over a few. You got to be faithful over a few things. If you became a faithful over a few things, the Lord will make you a rich, um, rich, uh, uh, an investor over many things, investor over many things. So if you desire massive wealth, you must tr be trustworthy and, dis and and disciplined. And that's where the apostolic gold come in. That's where you, when you are given that release, you need to understand that you are an ambassador to the nations. So today we want to talk to you about being kingdom investors and ownership. We want you to take a closer look, look at why behind investing in yourself to go into generational multiple streams of wealth. So my question to you today, if you don't get anything else, is what is your wealth stream plan that the Holy Spirit has placed in your hands? A lot of times I was just talking to another apostle. A lot of times the Lord has given us something in our own hands that we're not even looking at as a wealth stream. And for me, one of those streams was travel. So what is the wealth stream that's in your hands? We always say that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the for the just or for the righteous, but you it's not going to be by luck. So as you begin to look at this today, I want you to know that wealth investments touch seven systems. And to everything, there's a cement season and there is a timing that uh, for everything. And we always want to get in at the end of a thing instead of the beginning of the thing. This whole thing around wealth investment, whether it's in travel, whether it's in cryptocurrency, whether it's in and whatever it is, you want to get into the process early and you want to trust and watch what leaders are doing in this area. These are some of the wealth streams. There's economic development. There's being a philanthropist. So once you become, once you have wealth streams, you can uh, become a philanthropist. You have to be value focused and Holy Spirit directed. You have to partner and learn how to leverage people through growth discipleship. That's what discipleship is about, is being able to leverage people. Everything is not a pyramid scheme, beloved. Um, you got to involve, get involved, um, 
look at your future, our future and our legacy. You got to look at the technology solutions of the 21st century. You got to look at the values that are driven, that are Christ-centered validation. You want to look at the financial and the alpha system and the alpha return. You also want to look at the authentic um, kingdom-driven capital and and be intentional about creating kingdom-driven capital. So this is about kingdom business. This is about kingdom business. And so as I look at what I'm going to invest in, I ask myself some questions. Is this enterprise in, in, um, directed by Holy Spirit and managed by godly leaders? If my if my spiritual father comes and tells me about investment, I don't even have to see a presentation. I don't even have to because I trust his because he's a godly leader. When I looked at how I've made this money in this $8 trillion industry, I looked at the leader. I looked at the godliness of the leader and his wife and the leadership. Um, does it meet the spiritual and physical needs of the community in order to invest the kingdom? That's all about discipleship. Uh, is there a calling from the creator? Is there So all of these questions you ask yourself, and if it does, is there measurable fruit, fruit going to be from this investment? Right. So you want to look at all of that and you want to look at it from both sides of the table. As you can see, I've learned to dance with my spiritual father's vision, the love for the marketplace, the love for investments, the love for because I believe that Habakkuk two and two said you got to write the vision. You got to make it plain. As you can see, his daughter is hugging him. She's trusting her father. She's showing love. Right. You in the spirit realm, you got to trust Holy Spirit like that. You got to trust the your spiritual leaders and the people that are giving you direction. Some of this has to do with relationship. It has to do with so much relationship and direction. Um, and then you got to write the vision, come up with that wealth plan and make it plain. And so what I did is I and I only could use my life. Right. I'm going to use my life as an example. I begin to focus on the goals and not the obstacles, because when I got laid off of work after almost being all close to 60 at that time, um, I had to make a decision. Would I go back and work a a, a J.O.B. just above broke job or am I going to look at what the Holy Spirit has put in my hands? So I took 20 years and I began to pray. And I took the 20 years of learning about marketplace investment and teaching me. Um, that took me from unemployment to six figures in more than four years. And I'm way beyond six figures. And now I'm debt free. I can go where I want, do what I want, and I can sow into the kingdom like I want. I believe that the Lord prepares a table for us, even in front of our enemies, and he makes our cup runneth over. So these are some of the seven mountain investments that I had that I that have taken place for me. One, I looked at religion and religion. I became a set apostle in the marketplace. So I teach that. Right. I also looked at education. I have a institute called Taylor Made International Institute where I do consulting work and I teach nonprofits and 5013 C's. I became an author. And I also have a couple of books out called Time the Not Between the Ministry and Marketplace, because a lot of times people try to separate the marketplace from ministry, but they're actually tied together if you are a Ephesians 4 minister, right? And then I looked at arts and entertainment. I'm getting ready to become part of a kingdom image networking that I actually coached and mentored a young woman who has now become involved with a with purchasing a network. I also, my husband transitioned and went to be with the Lord. And I also, so through our family, we have created the GW Taylor Memorial Fund. Then I looked at government and government. I actually worked at the White House faith-based office. And I were actually the last president that I actually worked with was President, President Barack Obama's cabinet. Then I looked at media and media. I do a lot of things on social media. But one of the things that I do is I have coffee conversations with Coach D. And then the last thing that I want to share with you today is business. There are so many business streams that you could get involved in. And two, we're going to talk about today. And one is the travel industry. The travel industry is an $8 trillion industry. 
Again, I became a global ambassador in this business. I became a six-figure earner. I actually earned a, B, earned a BMW during the pandemic in the last two years. These are some of the streams. As you can see, I also have uh, learned that we have to train people and teach people and disciple people how to do this. So we are going to present to you today Trevorium. And Trevorium, as you can see, Pastor, uh, Pastor Bebb and Pastor uh, Apostle Wilson are looking fly. They are part of this business, Pastor Bebb and Pastor. Uh, they are already making an income from it. And we want to turn fun into fortune, right? We want to turn ministry travel into fortune, right? And so the Bible says in Mark 16 and 15, go into all the world. We are looking for ambassadors. We are looking for those who want to take this global travel investment for a small investment and then to create a big return. And if you are interested in doing that, we are advancing the kingdom for the king through generation wealth streams and moving our people to the next and teaching nations. And that's what we're going to do through Trevorium. So you want to invest in yourself. You want to join us into going into the nations as we create a new platform, a new way, and a new you in 2022. You got to have vision. And we want you to have 2020 vision in 2022. You got to trust that no matter what, no matter what, that your leaders, whether it, whatever, whoever your leader is, whoever that person is, is mentoring you. If they bring you something, you got to look at it from a relationship standpoint sometime. And sometimes you may not even understand why it's be, why this investment or why even this investment uh, training has been brought to you today. But I want you to know that we have made a global investment in travel. It is an $8 trillion industry. It has grew. This company, particular company, has grew over the pandemic to over 62 countries, adding 21 countries during the pandemic. I want you to also know that the Lord has given us seed. And when he gives us seed, there's, there's a seed time and there's a harvest time. There's a seed principle that will happen through Mark 4. And so, again, if you're interested in learning about this $8 trillion industry to go from the neighborhoods to the nations, you want to partner with us. You want to partner with uh, Valley Kingdom Ministries. You want to partner with us as we go into the travel industry of, that a better life requires a better way. God bless you. Wow, 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 wow. Powerful presentation, Apostle Deborah Taylor. I thank God for you. And you infuse your testimony in there. And that is that makes it so much more often. That, it reminds me of the scripture in Revelation that tells us that we overcome the enemy by the yes. blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We thank you so much. Uh, for that presentation and you all that presentation has just set the table for what shall happen in the future we thank god for trevorium but we are getting ready to hear from a great man of god apostle uh patrick isaac who's getting ready to come to the stage and be able to release just as apostle deborah taylor had something that's happening in the earth right now that you cannot miss. Apostle Patrick Isaac, what's happening? Bless you, Pastor Jeff. And I want to thank you and all eight Apostle Age, Pastor Ray, their families, and, and all the team for this tremendous job. We had a great first one. Yes, and sir. Apostle uh, uh, Taylor just opened my spirit even more in this in this uh, session. And but in and I want to continue in the same direction in speaking about another transformational uh, 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 transition that is taking place right now in the, the system of business. And it's crypto financial shift, the crypto yes, financial shift. A lot of people, a lot of people, uh, when they hear about cryptocurrency, 
the only thing they hear they, they know about is bitcoin the only thing they know about is bitcoin but crypto transition is more than than bitcoin there's an ecosystem that's going to change the way we do business the way we do banking everybody what it's either you jump in or it's going to overtake you and today i want to speak about uh, about that part of crypto of the of the ecosystem called the decentralized financial system we've been used to the traditional banking system the traditional banking system going into a bank or or, or going and, and put our card and and put our number and take some money that's the traditional banking system even the different uh, uh, financial tools uh, uh, bonds uh, stocks uh, 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 MLPs those are the ones we know and uh, and we are we are used to their rates but this generation we are transitioning into the digital financial system the digital financial system so it's important to understand that cryptocurrency bitcoin is more than the crypto but there's a whole ecosystem and the the, the part that i'm going to speak about today is decentralized finance decentralized finance now some of you are wondering what is decentralized system decentralized finance listen decentralized finance is what Decentralized finance is the system that is no longer controlled and manipulated by Wall Street and the banks and blessing the few. But now we're going to get the worth for the money that we've put in an investment. Now I'm going to give you five reasons why you will transition from the traditional banking system to the digital financial system. Five reasons. The first reason is this. The shift has already started. The shift has, ha, has already started. The shift ha, has already started. Right now, 88% of the digit of every transaction, whether it's investments, whether it's uh, 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 buying stocks, lending, is digital. 88%. And 12% is cash. Now they're saying that a, a lot of a, a lot of people are speculating by 2030 we won't have uh, paper money. So the shift has already started. So you already have to wrap around your mind that very soon you will not go in a bank. Uh, you will be doing you you will be you will be doing transaction digital digital. So the second the second reason you need to transition to DeFi decentralized financial system why the second reason why you need to transition is the fact that you've been robbed too long you've been robbed too long what am, what am i saying in the bank the traditional banking system your money is used to enrich the wealthy but in the defi the decentralized finance your money is will be used to enrich you you will be enriched with your money. And that's very important. That's, that's very important because there's so much banking fees in the traditional system. Uh, the banking fees are pro, 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 preposterous. Interest rates of, of loan keep rising and interest on your investment are stagnating and dropping. So there's, there's so much money that the middleman is taking. So literally decentralizing banking system or, or financial system, you won't have to go to the middleman. You're doing peer-to-peer, person-to-person. You have your account in, 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 on, 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 your, on, your, on your phone, and things can move quickly. You, it, it, is so much, uh, it, it is so much different. The, the third reason, the third reason that you will transition into the decentralized financial system is the fact that the DeFi digital system is open to all. What do I mean by that? The access to money, the access to wealth is no longer for the few. It's for, it's for, it's for the majority. Listen, in the, in the traditional banking system, financial growth only is according to your financial capacity. So if you don't have $50,000, $60,000, you cannot buy a house. 
you 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 cannot uh, you cannot multiply wealth but in the digital decentralized financial system financial growth will come with knowledge to know what to do you don't have to put a lot of money you need to have knowledge to know how to where to put your money because the kingdom of god in this generation to advance will take money and we cannot only expect the billionaires and the, and the millionaires to be outside of the church. It's time for us to raise those billionaires and those millionaires. But to raise them, they need to be educated. Financial growth according to your knowledge and leverage and not according to your money. So you, you might have $500. You can grow that to $250,000, $600,000, a million dollars. There's ways to do it. And, and you will learn that, okay? Uh, I'll get to that. The, the fourth reason why you need to transition to the decentralized financial system and, and leave the, the traditional banking system, you will be able to take control of your money. The banking system holds your money. But in the decentralized financial system, you hold your money on your phone. You have not. You can do transactions. You can or you can do loans. You can you can place your money. You do everything by yourself. Okay. So the banking system no longer holds your money. But the second thing, the the second difference, very limited access to your money in the banking system. Sometimes you want your money. It takes days before they give it to you. But it's your money. Why should it take days for you to get your money? But with the decentralized system, full access of your money 24-7. What do I mean by that? At, at midnight, at 11 uh, uh, p.m., 5 in the morning, I can do a transaction. I can send money to somebody like that. Now, in the, in the traditional banking system, very costly and it's lengthy transaction. But in the, the decentralized financial system, the, it's cheaper and the, the transactions are by minute. Listen, if I want to make, if I want to send money right now to the ecosystem of cryptocurrency, if I want to send money, a million dollars to India, it takes less than 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes. And it will cost around 40, 45 dollars. Did you hear me? 44 30 40 dollars to to send in less than 10 minutes money to to india the person can get it right away you got to you're going to shift your mindset because we are already in this right now number 5 the fifth reason why you need to transition from traditional banking to digital decentralized banking you will be able to make money with your money Instead of the financial system making money with your money. What am I saying? Listen, the 401k plan gives you 3 to 8%. If you, if you place your money somewhere and you lock it, you don't have access to it. $100,000, you don't have access to it for five years. They give you 13%, 15%. If you get a stock that gets you to 100%, you feel it's extraordinary. But look what's going in, what's happening in the decentralized financial system, the ecosystem of cryptocurrency. It's not just Bitcoin. It's a whole ecto, ecosystem. There's so many different transactions you can make there. You can, you can, you can invest. You can lend money. You can, you can uh, 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 have, you have different vehicles to get 10, 20, 50, 100, 1,000%. 1, in the decentralized financial system, 150% profit is okay. A thousand percent profit is common. A hundred thousand percent is attainable. Let me give you my personal uh, testimony. I've put a hundred, I think a hundred something dollars on one cryptocurrency in, 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 in about... Eight months, I made $110,000, $110,000 on it. 
I'm not talking about what people told me. I'm talking about what I'm living right now. And this money is your money to take. $100 invested in Bitcoin in 11 years, would have, you would have been making now $80 million for having invested $100 11 years ago. We need to get that revelation. We need to get that understanding. And I want to give you, I'm going to challenge you with, 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 a, with a, a class, a course, a training that I'm giving in this season for people to transition to understand cryptocurrency and the whole system. It's not for everybody. It's for the few that understand that, that are, that are, that are uh, trendsetters, that are ready to take a chunk of what is ours before the mass get a little of what's left. That course is this, unlocking the future of money, cryptocurrency. I will speak on, on the, the, the evolution of money, demystifying the blockchain te 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 technology that is behind cryptocurrency and all those decentralized finance. We will have a deep dive into the cryptocurrency. You'll understand everything that you need to know. I'll help you create your cryptocurrency wallet and know how to navigate in it, how to invest your money in different type of investment that will give you 20%, 40%. You will see 100, 100% uh, 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 even even a hundred thousand percent on certain investments the regular price is two thousand but uh, but because of this of what's happening now you have access to it for nine hundred and ninety nine dollars it's ten hour sessions that you get get all the understanding where you will be able to be part of the two percent that knows it right now listen don't wait for that technology to overtake the world Take it now because you're apostolic. Now, this if, if you take that course, there's also a package deal that I want to make you because you can have your crypto wallet. You can understand the whole system, but we want to go further in helping you build, showing you what to do with your money. And this is my second package, the, 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 the mega wealth package. You're getting the crypto course for 10 hours, then we will touch the seven key strategies to make money now. Five hours. We will have the ready, set, grow your wealth portfolio where we're going to show you where to put your money, what to put, when to change the amount. Four, our company, NDC, will send you the uncensored crypto newsletter for you to know everything that is going on, when it's going on, and what to do. And number five, the VIP crypto alerts. What does that do? The VIP crypto alerts will show you where, when to change. We will send, you will receive an email that tells you shift, put that amount there, put this amount there. So we're literally using our thousands of hours of, of expertise to help you get to the next level. This might not be for everybody, but there's, I know there's people that are tired to have 2%, 5%, 1% on their savings, but they want to make real money because the word said in Proverbs 13 verses 22, the good man leaves an inheritance for the children of his children. Listen, I've been in places where asked in, in, in an assembly, how many people have $5,000? After 20 years in the Lord, they don't have. They don't have $5,000. I want to help you to change that. And if you take the whole package of the unlocking the future of money, the course that will show you cryptocurrency and the whole decentralized financial system, I'm going to touch that in the first part. And But if you take the whole package that is worth 5000 you will get it for 2500 And you will be able to, we will help you place your money Believe me, the $2,500 investment, you will get it back before the first four to five months. It will already be back. I'm telling you, I've seen it and I can make it happen for you. So how can you subscribe? Some of you, listen, you can subscribe right now. You text me at 1-438-228-4676. 
228-428-4676, or you can email me at registration next digitalcorp.com you leave your name and your email your name and your email and you will be able to get this package and transform not just your life but your life of your family the life of your children and even the life of your ministry and help apostle h advance the kingdom i bless god for you and i want to hear your questions because i really want you to transition from the old paradigm, traditional banking, traditional financial system, stock bonds and at 10%, 2%, 5%, and transition into decentralized finance, peer to peer, person to person, no middleman that is taking all your wealth. Just with your phone, just with internet and your phone, you'll be able to be in control of your money and see the type of wealth that will help us advance the kingdom. Bless you and looking forward to have you and to be able to train you to go to the next level. Uh, Apostle Patrick Isaac, man, that was some powerful information, man. Life-changing paradigm shifting information and i said this in that first session my it, my mind is is just blown right now and it's it's because my mind is transitioning and we all have to have the renewing of our mind for these times that we're living in right now and i thank you so much sir for mm -hmm. that revelation and we're getting ready to go right into the q a we're going to have uh apostle uh, deborah join the stage but at this time I just want to say this to you, sir, is that you always are able to deliver information to us uh, that is so helpful to the body of Christ. And I pray that the body of Christ really grab holds, grabs hold to it so we're on the front end instead of the back end. Could you talk about that for a little bit? Oh, that's so that's so true. Listen, right now, Pastor Jeff, there's only there's only. 20 million people that are benefiting from two trillion of dollars in the ecosystem of 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 bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrency <laughs> two trillion dollars but the the reason why because people are taking time to step in and this is why this is forerunning what's taking place in this conference because the people that will get that knowledge are going to be able to be part of the two percent of the 7 billion people in the world that knows how to navigate. So by the time people catch up, we will be able to already be flowing in, in, the, in the digital uh, uh, cryptocurrency and ecosystem. And we will be able to get the type of wealth that will, be, that will push the ministry to the next level and bless our families. Absolutely. The time has come that for us not to be calling for for or praying for for billionaires to come in the ministry. We want to raise them ourselves, and this is one way to do. Absolutely, you all. This is that time for Q and A. Uh, you get the uh, at the bottom of your screen. You can see that uh, that circle with the question mark in the middle of it. You can answer your ask your questions at that point. My son had me to recently invest in crypto, and at first it was going up. Now it's up and down. Should I continue to let my money sit there? Cassandra, this is the reason why I, I'm sharing this right now and the importance of you getting understanding. There's techniques and ways for you to, to hold your money pegged one-to-one -one with the USD. So li that literally means your crypto that is fluctuating, there's ways to put it in, in a certain a certain account in your crypto that it is not affected by the down the down rates the down rights so those are the different techniques I'm going to show you in that course and this is why I said that the ones that have money today is not those that have big uh, that, that 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 have sixty seventy thousand uh, dollars to invest but those that have knowledge because the knowledge and the leverage you have will give you money absolutely apostle deborah the travel industry and people really don't understand how how much money is in the travel industry won't you talk a little bit about that and you one thing that you mentioned that obviously the uh COVID 19 pandemic could not affect it could you talk a little bit about that 
No, it did not affect it. So it's an eight trillion dollar industry that's pegged to go to twelve point two trillion dollars. So it is a huge industry. I believe that just like nine one one, when when the systems change with TSA and all of that, travel will change. But the systems that are being put in place are a better system for us to be able to do that. Um, you have hotels. I just had a cousin that joined my business, joined my book of business. He is a security guard for two hotels that are being built. So they're still building hotels. They're still building. And so the owner who's a Christian who owns this company um, has been meeting with billionaires from Hilton, Marriott, different places, because people like Apostle Isaac, Apostle H. Daniel, got to get from point A to point B. We got to <laughs> get from point A to point B. The, the airlines did not shut down. Even when the world shut down, they never should shut down. It's just a, it's just going to be a different way that we're going to be able to do what we need to do. Just the same way that money is going to be become liquefied, electronic. So it's just different ways. And, and if we don't get ahead of the trends, which I believe Apostle Isaac is speaking to, and we don't get ahead. Of, my husband was also a part of the crypto forex trading market as well. We don't get uh, ahead of the trends that are going on, especially as Christians that quit thinking everything is a pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. We're not going to create wealth. And that is an abomination to the Lord. I'll say it. It's an abomination to be broke and, and, and it just continue to when you have resources like this. I mean, Apostle Wilson has spent. And uh, uh, Pastor Ray has spent million. I mean, I don't know what the system costs, but it's very high tech to be able to get this wealth of knowledge into people's hands. Absolutely. So we definitely. And then the other thing is take a small investment. I heard uh, I'm going to be joining your class, but to take that small investment and invest in yourself. When I invested that three hundred dollars in myself, I was unemployed. Wow. Right. For the first time in 40 some years. But it was the best investment because now what I've done is created a wealth stream, um, not only through travel, but through multiple wealth streams to be able to create a generational legacy wealth for my children's children. And that's what it's all about in 2022. And that indeed is what it's all about. Here was, here's another question. So are you saying that we will not have the banks or have to go to the banks maybe so we will not have to go to the banks alberta walker asked that question you don't have to now uh, alberta listen what i'm saying is literally uh, the banks are going uh, uh, the banking system system okay. is going to be affected the bank banking system will be there but what will change is because of the new system the decentralized system what it does instead of the banking system getting all your all your money all your profit the peer to peer transaction are going to be much cheaper because it's going to be done on the internet it's, it's, it's done quicker investment you're going to get more percentage out of your out of your your yield will be bigger will be the amount will be more the banking system will stay there was way for us to 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 uh, to be uh, to have a homogeneous for, uh, 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 setting, but the thing now they will not take our money. They will not be sucking all the money, and the people's money is going away. It doesn't make sense. Listen to me. Let me give you one example. <laughs> it doesn't make sense for you to have a hundred thousand dollars and you place it somewhere, and the only thing you're getting for it is is ten per, is thirteen percent, twelve percent, twelve percent. Listen. In, in, in the different uh, 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 investment we're making in, in, in the ecosystem of, of cryptocurrency, we are net, for me, 10 more percent is baby money. I said it's baby money. You're, you'll be making 150 percent, a thousand percent, 25,000 percent. I'm not talking about what I heard. I've seen it for myself. And this is why you need the knowledge, Alberta. And that's that's and so, so, and the trend, 
Go ahead, Apostle. This, and the trends are changing because I was from the old system, right? So when my husband transitioned in May, I was when the last time I paid a bill in the 80s, I paid with a check, mm -hmm. right? I paid all my bills with checks. But now my kids have teaching me that they have such a thing called auto payments. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is done online. My granddaughter said, Grandma, you ain't got to go to the bank. All you got to do is take your phone and scan the check. But let me tell you this, Apostle. Can I tell you this, Apostle? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the example of, of Apostle to show you why we need to transition to de decentralize. When she sent her, her check, she's paying fees. Fees, yes. They're, even she, though she's digitalizing her, her, her transaction, but the banking system is taking money off of you. So yeah. when we do that, we're still enriching the, 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 the few. Now, the decentralized system, the, the, you can send money with, with little percentage. I'm giving you an example of a million dollars. If the Apostle Deborah, uh, Apostle Taylor was sending a million dollars somewhere, it would cost you at least a thousand or so and more. And you would wait weeks and weeks to go through all types of, of, of red tape before you can send it. But today, with the decentralized system and of cryptocurrency and the ecosystem. Your money is yours. So you can send it to whoever you want from here to India in 10 minutes, in 12 minutes. For, you know for how much? $25, $30. You send a million dollars. So I can send you here, and you're in India right now, Apostle Taylor. I send you a million dollars. It can take 10 minutes. You have it and you can click and you start using your money. The banking system would take a thousand, two thousand, maybe yeah. two, even more off of you just for the transaction. And this is why we need to transition. Please understand, don't let this pass you by because it is happening. Don't, don't, don't say 10 years from now, Apostle Isaac had told us, we need to catch it now. We need to catch it now. And, and Apostle, and, I, and you all, you still have an opportunity. We have probably about a good 12 minutes, uh, 11 minutes uh, to get your questions in. Will Trevorium help new airlines come online? Will Trevorium help new airlines come online? Trevorium has a airline platform. I don't know about new airlines come online. That's not uh, all airlines have an online system. So Trevorium... Uh, you will have access to a portal that has, uh, and I'll give you an example. One of the examples was in our platform, um, one of your leaders was going to Dubai through Trevorium system for $89 for six days and five nights to Dubai. So when she went to the Dubai airline, the, the ticket was $1,230 some dollars. But when she went to Trevorium system, it was $620 to five from Chicago. So, so I don't know if that answers your question, but it asks, you know what I'm saying? So there are ways in which you can save on your systems through, through using these different systems. You know, uh, airlines are going to fluctuate just like money fluctuates, just like everything. Air, things, I mean, there's no, like, a, like I said, there's nothing new under the sun. Things will change. Are you going to go, as Apostle Isaac is saying, with the change? Right. Are you going to renew your mind, as Pastor Jeff said, and I said earlier, to changing with the systems that God has put in place? See, I really believe even even the system that's going on now through the prints of the air is, is really a distraction to keep people from really focusing on what God wants us to do as Christians. But that's a whole nother lesson. <laughs> but who is the prince of the air? And if you think about what's going on right now in the world, it's an air. Now, I'm going to leave that alone right there. I'm going to drive. I love it. I love it. I love it. Go. And you challenge it. And, and now people, what, what we got to recognize is that where we are in the world today, all the systems of the world are being challenged right now. If you pay attention to it, the educational system is being challenged right now. The healthcare system is being challenged right now. The governmental system is being challenged right now and change is occurring 
as it relates to that. Uh, any one of the apostles want to say anything about what I just said? I, I would agree. I would. I definitely would agree. And 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 I give you an example. I was an educator. I was an educator. Not only did I work, I taught all over, all over, right? And and now when I teach, I teach through a system like this, where I used to make maybe three, maybe four or five thousand dollars a month. I can teach four classes and make twenty thousand dollars on an online system. Wow. You got to get caught up on the online systems, on the systems that the Lord is putting in place. And again, when you create, he, Apostle Wilson has created this platform in order because this is this is new technology. This is new <coughs> stuff, and and people all over the world can be exposed to learning these systems. You got to get with it. Absolutely. And the the even the the ecosystem challenges the current economic system Economics. right now. Yes, the so volume actually challenges or, or changes the system, the airline system. So Not only the are, airline system, but the travel system. The travel. They system. are ahead of. They're the only travel company that I know of that did not lose money. Expedia, Priceline, all of them lost money. It lost money. It was the only one that I know that growed. And I was the only one. I made more money during the pandemic than I did any other time, which is crazy. Wow. wow. <laughs> and so here's what we get ready to do. I think we got about maybe six minutes left. Um, for those of you who still have questions, you have a chance to an answer them. Uh, we have a chance to answer them. But I'm going to ask the, uh, the speakers to give their final thoughts in just a second. But for you know, at, at 1045, you'll be able to, I'm sorry, 1145, you'll be able to go over to the lobby uh, and Apostle Deborah will be there in the lobby. You go into the lobby again this time. OK, so, so Apostle Deborah will be in the lobby and you'll be able to ask, ask questions there or even just have a, a direct conversation with her uh, in the lobby. Uh, the next session will start at your next session will start at noon. So uh, you'll be able to leave the lobby and go into your next session. So they ask you to transition to the next session at 11.55 so that you're there uh, and be able to get that next session, that final session started at noon. Final comments, Apostle Deborah, that you would want to make you first and then your final comments, Apostle Isaac. I would just say be open-minded. Go through the process of renewing your mind. Um, poverty is not a gift. <laughs> a property mindset is not a gift. And in order to be a blessing to the kingdom, we have to be kingdom minded and be, and be able to invest in what the Lord has <coughs> put before us through our leaders. Amen. Got a question up here, Apostle Isaac. I know you see it. Do you accept partial payments or probably asking about a, even a payment plan potentially for your classes? Absolutely. Uh, they can... Uh, when they when they send us the inform everybody that want to take the, the classes they will send information uh, they will send me their information and we will we will we will send them email to show them exactly how they can they can take, take the courses now i don't know if it's time for my last word yes sir okay apostle uh, taylor said this in her first uh, session timing is everything timing is everything this transition that is taking place right now in the whole financial system, let us not miss, miss it. We miss the transition of internet. People start making billions of dollars before the church even started using internet. But this time, we are, we are able to get that information. There's only 2% of people in the world right now that understand that has transitioned and they're making billions of dollars the church needs to get that we listen this sunday everybody's going to raise their hand and pray for for finance everybody's going to say lord i want you to release finance we will see the one that are serious in the action you're going to take what are you willing to do to make sure you participate in that wealth transfer i just encourage you to take that course to help you transition and making real money with your money instead of leaving it in a bank or putting it in a bonds or, or MLP, 
that will give you 10 to 11 percent if you're lucky this this season there's the transition you need to go through that transition so that you can go from making it and being and having abundance to advance the kingdom amen thank you both come on let's give a hand clap to both of our uh, instructors on today. We thank you, Apostle Isaac. We thank you, Apostle Deborah Taylor, uh, for your impartation and for that. Wow, what an awesome teaching. We got some awesome teachers, chefs here in the Valley, and we know that you will be blessed, but this is also just a teaser for the other upcoming summit that shall be coming up. You need to be a part if you missed the first one and you caught these by uh, our streaming, you need to be live for the next one because it is blessing you and we pray that you're receiving what is coming from God's house to your house. God bless you. See you at the next summit.